it's a bit of a hard conversation to have, I guess, like, you might not be able to see it on someone, but like, it really can completely change the whole life. Just, uh, just crying, endless nights, not sleeping, uh, yeah, it was, it was horrible from the moment that I would walk into my house until the moment I would walk out. That would be my, my bad place in a way. Started very young with heavy OCDs, anxiety, depression, um, tried to kill myself at school when I was 11. I started drinking a lot, doing quite a lot of drugs, um, attempted to take my own life twice. I've been taking the antidepressants for about two and a half years, but every time I do this thing, every time I feel like I'm getting better, uh, I'm like, oh, I don't need them anymore. Because I, I always see it as like, being on antidepressants is a sign that you're still unwell. I started pulling my hair, so suffered from trichotillomania, which made me um, pull out my whole head. So basically what I'm wearing here is just a wig. Unless you've experienced it, it's really challenging to put yourself in that person's shoes and understand how they feel. You just try, you just try to keep going. You just try to, to survive in a way. You know, you, there's been just like a string of like student, student suicides at Bristol. It's horrible. Like, it just seems like every time you open the paper, there's another one. I had one friend who I came to university with and we were in different halls and we are on the same course and I told him about my issues um, with wanting to, to, uh, to drop out and how, how socially anxious I was and he, and he talked things through with me and we went on this big walk. And then just I didn't hear from him again and he'd taken his own life. I think there's a big pressure when you go off to university. A lot of students like to go off straight away. Obviously, people want to get that experience of moving away from home and living on your own. In the beginning, it was quite difficult because I literally lived, left everyone that I knew, family, friends. Just being in a new environment for me was quite stressful, um, not knowing anyone to begin with. I guess there's also like academic pressures. You kind of go from being like a smart kid in your classes to kind of being very middle of the pack. You have to pay attention to deadlines, all the projects, all the essays, go to lectures and go to work. I feel like everyone is struggling with something, but we are all hiding it. Anxiety, depression, um, addictions, OCD, PTSD, everyone suffers from something. I think everyone's going to go through depression once in their life. Uh, I, I think we should educate people on what exactly depression is. People just kind of think, oh, you're depressed, okay, you had a bad breakup or just a bad day. It's not as simple as that. And it's really challenging. It's really hard to get across like how debilitating it actually is, especially when you don't understand it yourself um, and you just don't know how other people are going to take it. It's hard. It's very, it's very stigmatized. We should all have compassion and not be afraid to share. Maybe instead of reaching out to some you know, student health service, just try to reach out to a friend first. I read somewhere that like courage is contagious, like once one person starts talking it just encourages more people to talk, more people to open up about it. It is hard to, to speak up, but in the end it will be a big, big relief. Yeah, open, open up, don't be scared, it can serve your life. <laughs>